The BIS, which is the Bank for International Settlements, has confirmed that it's working with central banks to create a new financial system that's taking aspects from crypto and DeFi by using tokenization, smart contracts, and blockchain or distributed ledger technology. But this new monetary system will incorporate CBDCs, so central bank money, bank deposits or money, and tokenized assets. And I spoke about the huge rise in the tokenization of real world assets that are already being added to crypto blockchains in a previous video that you can find a link to here and in the description. So please do like this video and subscribe to the channel so I can continue to offer more content for you in future. Just a reminder that nothing contained here is financial advice. And let's jump straight in and take a look at what the BIS and central banks plans actually are. The BIS or Bank for International Settlements is essentially a bank for central banks and is based in Switzerland. It was established in 1930 at the Hague Conference to essentially try to settle reparation payments that were imposed on Germany by the Treaty of Versailles over 10 years earlier in 1919, following the First World War. And it was put in place originally by the governments of Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the United Kingdom, and Switzerland. The BIS now though is owned by 63 central banks representing countries from around the world that together account for about 95% of world GDP. As such, and if we relate this to what's happening today, we know that it is conducting research, working with central banks and running a variety of projects and pilots on CBDCs across these different economies. It actually states that its mission is to support central banks' pursuit of monetary and financial stability through international cooperation and to act as a bank for central banks. Well, the BIS published back in June 2023 its ideas and blueprint for a new monetary system and how it intends to improve the old financial system. And it specifically highlighted the power and potential of the tokenization of money and assets moving forward, but stated that this should be combined with central bank money and the foundation of trust that it allegedly provides. So the BIS proposed a new type of financial market infrastructure called a unified ledger, which would enable the combination of central bank money, tokenized deposits, and tokenized assets. They state that multiple ledgers could exist that would be interlinked through programmed applications to ensure that they're interoperable. This obviously is another thing that's come from crypto and DeFi, and the BIS does specifically mention both of these in quite a lengthy report that I'll include a link to in the description should you want to check this out. Then, more recently, the BIS put out a statement on the 3rd of April, 2024, saying that it has been specifically been working with seven central banks, and they are those in France, Japan, Korea, Mexico, Switzerland, England, and New York. And they have created something called Project Agora, which means marketplace in Greek, which is a partnership to explore how tokenization can enhance the functioning of the monetary system and improve existing financial systems. In particular, they again mention how commercial bank deposits can be tokenized and integrated with tokenized central bank money using smart contracts and programmability, while apparently maintaining the existing two-tier structure of commercial bank deposits and central bank money. The next step for this project will apparently be for private financial firms to join a project Agora, which is being organized by the Institute of International Finance, or IIF. But it's investigating how tokenized commercial bank deposits can be integrated with central bank money in a public, private, programmable core financial platform. And they particularly mention how tokenization and smart contracts could enable functionalities 
and transactions that are not possible today. For example, by increasing the speed and integrity while lowering the cost of international payments across borders. So to overcome the challenges presented by the different legal, regulatory and technical requirements, the operating hours and the time zones. And here is a statement from the head of the BIS Innovation Hub, who states that they are exploring a new common payment infrastructure that could bring all of these elements together, operating in multiple countries with multiple currencies, along with central bank money and financial companies. And then by a BIS economic advisor and head of research who states that central banks will be at the core of this project Agora and that there will apparently be added functionalities while maintaining and safeguarding the integrity and governance of the monetary system. But this does seem to be part of the plans by central banks and by the BIS to incorporate CBDCs with the existing financial system and use tokenization and smart contracts on blockchains or distributed ledgers in order to achieve this, which is quite worrying in my opinion. And we will continue to see where this goes, but educating ourselves on what's happening as a first step is important. So that ends this video looking at the BIS and central banks plans to introduce essentially a new financial system in which tokenized assets, bank deposits, and CBDCs are combined. And as always, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. And if you are interested in more of a tailored approach to your crypto education, and you think you'd benefit from having someone look over your shoulder and guide you on your journey, I do offer one-to-one -one coaching to those who have the desire and the means to educate themselves further. And there are links in the description where you can message me and book in a free video call to see if we'd be a good fit. And if you found this content interesting, please do like the video and subscribe to the channel as it really does help. And have a great day.